recital room. Hi guys, welcome back to the recital room. I'm your boy Bola the Sadiq and this is the news. Let's get it. Before we get into this news, don't forget to like, share and smash that subscribe button. That's how YouTube know you like us. So let's get into this news. Before we're going to go on this news, we're going to be looking at Brexit. We're going to be checking out from a little mixed stars. We're going to be looking at Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Tom Holland, Squid Game. And we're looking at the Billboard Hot 100. That's our made event. So let's get into this news. Before we do, don't forget to like, share and smash that subscribe button. So let's get in this news. Thank you. Brexit. Brexit. The Spanish government has scrapped the visa requirement for UK artists touring the country post-Brexit in a deal hailed as a big victory. Last month, a number of figures from the music industry spoke about how many new visa rules as well as prohibited costs and admin rules meant that many UK artists could no longer afford to tour in the UK. Cutting off a big market for the UK, to UK talent. It has now been announced that after conversation between the UK based Live Association and Live Order and the Spanish live, and the Spanish organizations, they've come to a conclusion that UK touring musicians and their crew will no longer need visas if they are touring in Spain for less than 90 days. Okay, congrats, that's a big victory to the UK artists. So let's continue. Jesse Nelson has pulled out of one of I've pulled out of live performance this weekend after testing positive for coronavirus. The former Little Mix star said she's been feeling unwell for the last couple of days and she was now self-isolating. Nelson is Nelson was due to perform in Birmingham on Saturday at the Free Radio Hit Live 2021 alongside artists like James Arthur and Marie and Mabel with KSI. So yeah, let's continue this news. We're going to Dwayne Johnson. Before we continue this news, don't forget to like, share, and smash that subscribe button if you haven't, because that's how YouTube know you like us. Don't forget that. Thank you. Let's continue. So yeah, Johnson. Johnson is pitched. Is you know, is pitched to be the next James Bond. So yeah, with Daniel Craig relinquishing his role as James Bond after 15 years on the, as running as the British spy, many other stars just throw their hat in to play the role. The latest is John, is Johnson is Dwayne Johnson. So yeah, the celebrity talks about how his grandfather used his grandfather used to be um, his grandfather was a villain in You Only Live Once John, um, with Sean Connery. Johnson said it was very very cool and he would like to follow in his footsteps as the next James Bond. So yeah, it will, it, especially the fact that the character is a, uh, the character is British and Dwayne Johnson is not, so it's gonna be kind of, you know, difficult in that regards. So yeah, and also the British people are very protective about this role and the iconic spy, so let's, let's and he said, but he said he doesn't want to be a villain, so let's continue this news. So, Tom Holland. Tom Holland has said, um, Spider-Man No Way Home is dark and brutal. He says it's not fun to watch. Okay, well, um, what the, the, the actor also said, what people will really be surprised about is that it's not fun. The film, it's dark. And he said um, it's going to be really, really effective. Effective. So um, he also say, he added that you're going to see characters that you love go through things that you would never wish for them to go through. And I was just really excited to kind of lean into the side of Peter Parker. Peter Parker is always someone who looks up. He's always really positive. He's always, I can fix this. I can do this. Whilst in this film, he feels like he's made his match. He's like, I don't know what to do. What was and what was an aspect of the character that I'd never seen before, and I was really, really excited to try that. So yeah, that is you know, Spider-Man: Man No Way Home. Let's continue to Squid Game. Squid Game has beaten Bridgerton to achieve the biggest series launch on Netflix as streaming as the streaming giant said. So yeah. In, in the last 28, in the, in the first 28 days on Netflix, Squid Game was watched by 111 million users, the company said. So this makes Netflix most popular series launch ever, beating Bridgerton, which was watched by 82 million people, uh, 82 million households in, you know, in the first month. So let's continue. We finally got to our main event of the evening or of the day so our main event is the billboard hot 100 so yeah let's get into this number one is adele 
is the on me. And yeah, this is the second week in a row. So yeah, let's go with let's go. With number two. Kid Loray and Justin Bieber stay. At number three, we have Lil Nas X, Jack Harlow, Wit, Industry Baby. At number four is Ed Sheeran with Bad Habits. The first four songs in this, in the Billboard Hot 100, where they still, still, they've been there for the past two weeks. So yeah, let's continue. Number five, we got Ed Sheeran again with Shiver. So yeah, so he's occupying number four and number five. Now we're going to number six with Post Malone. It's a new entry with Post Malone and Weekend and The Weekend with one right now. So yeah, number six is Post Malone and The Weekend. Uh, like the name of the song is one right now. So yeah, I haven't heard it yet. I'm gonna listen to it and then I'll tell you my opinion. So let's and I'm gonna I'm gonna probably do a review for this. So let's look out for that too. So let's go in on. Let's go on with number seven, Walker Hayes with Fancy Like. At number eight, another new entry, which is Sip Music, Bruno Mars and Anderson Park with Anderson Peck with Smoking Out the Window. So yeah, now we got into our number nine. Does a cat go in with Need to Know. This went down. So yeah, we've got into our, our last number, our last song, but not least, it's number 10. It's Glass Animal with Hit wave. Let's get this round this all up. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for for your subscribe. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you want to get in touch with me, you know what to do. That it's on. All this is going to be in the description below. It's follow the Sadiq on Instagram or the Recite Room dot one on Instagram, or you can email us on our email at Recite Room at gmail.com. Thank you very much. And all this will be in the description below. Don't forget to like, share, and smash that subscribe button if you haven't. Yeah. Thank you. Stay safe.